Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Harvard Crimson and the Indiana Hoosiers. Number three is provides a real spark to his team as an upperclassman. Hey, Brad, true senior leadership is a rarity these days. But when a team has it, it makes a big difference out of the court. The Hoosiers will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Hoosiers should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Next, make sure you eat up the boards. Lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. They'll bring it up. He attempts the three. He's money with the shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He tries the jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Five second call approaching. A little frustration right there. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The Ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Play that back for me one time. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. This is simply a great play, Brad. Gave it up. The power forward with the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. On the outside. He's open if he wants the shot. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. There's a high screen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside for the bucket and in and out. Up and inside. And up and drains the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Let's it fly. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes the shot. Way off target. Showing great patience. As he waits for the reset of the offense. He strokes it. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Or some ball pressure. It was too much for him and he lost possession. Goes 
goes up for two. The Crimson have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Trying to go inside. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They look to get it to the inside. Randolph fakes the shot. Tries the turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Takes it off him. Fast break opportunity here. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. On the dribble, gives it up. Shoots from outside. He buries it. Time to pick up the defense here now. The center takes the pass. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Working it around the perimeter. Launches away. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Oh, yes. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Trying to feed inside. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. The ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. Turns it over. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. For the bucket, the ball goes out of play. Motion offense in here on transition, Brad. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays, and boy, do they have the momentum now. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. The Hoosiers will step to the line for the first time. He makes it. Basic. The center gets the ball. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Taken away. The point guard gets the pass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help stop. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The center takes the feed. 
Looking for a good shot. He wants the three. That was nice. Dumps it in. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. From the baseline, he nails the shot. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Hoosiers have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a the court. Great anticipation defensively. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he shoots from the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They've left him completely alone. Here's a double team. He shoots from right of the circle. That's good. He launches the bomb, drains the shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, how's our focus player doing so far? I know it's a little bit earlier, but what are you seeing? I'll tell you what, doesn't he look like the three S man? Super scintillating and sensational. Dump it inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Show me that one again. They're working around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Sinks the shot. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Picked out of the air. Trying to draw the foul. It sticks. Gant is emotionally pumped up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Kicks it out. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. Great double team, really explosive. Miss Q on that double team. Things better come together quickly, Brad. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He looks at the hoop. Fakes it. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Length of the floor, puts it up, looking for contact. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. Buries it. I want to see that again. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. From left of the circle, 
Nails the long range bomb. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three. He drains the shot. They'll work it around the arc. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. On the dribble, gives it up from downtown. Great shot. Let's rewind that. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for the foul, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Lazy pass. For two, perfectly executed. There he is, strips the ball loose. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. He intercepts it. Puts up the tray, off the rim, and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He tries to beat the clock. Meadows buries the three-pointer. At the half, the Hoosiers are up by 21. What's your take on the EA Sports play of the half, partner? Hey, Brad, if I'm coach, I'd love to go in at half after a shot like this. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Indiana had an awesome first half shooting the ball, Dick. Can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the composure there showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a very methodical team. Start of the second half, Dick, our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Jumped in front to take it away. It's a fast break possibility. On the dribble, gives it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal.
Goes up for two. The Crimson's have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. On the outside, Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Tries for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Working around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint, and he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, and you spin back the other way. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Looking for contact. Gets it to fall. The Crimson are down by 20. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Dump it inside. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Here Got a nice screen. Stop the basketball. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On a terrific job by the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. They work the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. He buries the shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He gets the shot to fall. The Hoosiers are ahead by 22. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Five second call approaching. He's got some room. Puts it up. Makes the shot. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's it fly. Sinks it. But inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he'll kick it back outside. He fakes the shot. The bucket, the land. On the dribble, gives it up, picked off. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the shot from the baseline. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Let's take a second look. Crimson of a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. For two, perfectly executed. Steals the pass, leans in, he drains the bucket. Working it around the perimeter, gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Set that screen away. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Oh. 
sets the screen for his teammate. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. The shot from the baseline. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Nice fake. And he'll kick it back outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The three balls had a better start flying, baby. Plus, this one's almost over. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. He shoots from left of the circle. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Gets the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. Goes up for two. <laughs> Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He gets it to go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. In and out. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. With the fake. He goes with a jump hook. Indiana are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Defense! Defense! Puts up the shot. Way off target. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He comes away with it. They get out on the break. Puts it up looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen away. Looking for the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. 
Tries for two. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. From left of the circle, the Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball goes out of bounds. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. That's a nice fake. They come with a double team to stop it. From the baseline. Oh, yes. Stolen ball. And back they come the other way. Looking for contact. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Goes up for two. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is dusty. Strips the ball. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Fake. They move it into the front court. Shoots it. The Crimson's have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essentially the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Double team now, bad angle. Taken away. Here we go on the break. Tries for two. The lay in. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That was nice. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Number 
the fake. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hit. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Here's a flash from the post up high. Moving it around the perimeter. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Too physical. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Launches away. He gets the bucket. Shots there if he wants it. He fouled him. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The small forward gets the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Indiana showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.